Hi, I'm Sean from DishonorableSpeechAndPolitics.com, and today I'm going to go over some analyses I did of tweets from 2022 U.S. Senate candidates from Wisconsin. I examined Republican Ron Johnson's and Democrat Mandela Barnes' tweets over a two-month time period to assess whose were more negative, whose promoted more personal irresponsibility, and whose were more misleading or misrepresenting of reality. Here, then, are the ratings. As you can see, Johnson's Twitter negativity rating was about double that of Barnes, so Johnson's tweets contained more negativity in my assessment. To give you a better idea of what the ratings mean, I want to go into some of the details of the negativity ratings. By my assessment, Johnson's tweets implied dishonesty or stealing on 49 occasions, implied incompetence 37 times, blamed 24 times, suggested guilt by association 12 times, and used vague negative terms 8 times. I assessed Barnes' tweets to have implied dishonesty or stealing 43 times, apparently assumed bad intent or beliefs on 8 occasions, misrepresented or misquoted what someone said on five occasions, and implied incompetence three times. So these were some of the main contributors to the negativity ratings for these two candidates' Twitter accounts. Also, I made a list of the subjects of the negativity of the tweets. I assessed Johnson's tweets as containing negativity aimed at the following on these number of occasions. Biden or his administration topped the list. For Barnes's tweets, Ron Johnson topped the list of where negativity was directed. For the promoting personal irresponsibility ratings, the biggest contributors were blaming and then promoting entitlement and victimhood for Johnson, and just promoting entitlement and victimhood for Barnes.